all about readiness and training and building that confidence in that soldier to be able to do more than they ever thought they possibly could. This is your time to shine. This is the time to show us your ability, what you've trained, what you've done, and so that every other soldier that's out here wants to be you. All of us are right there at that cusp, and it takes events like this, and it takes moments like this to get you over that hump. We came out here and we did our best. We found excuses to succeed. You got a tree. Seeing all of the competitors push themselves further than they thought they could is extremely motivating. It is absolutely an honor to be a medic soldier, to be a part of this region health competition. As we all push ourselves further than we thought possible, as we all uh, expand our, our boundaries, as we all challenge one another, it's a motivating and incredible opportunity to be here with all of these intense competitors. I love my team. We already really connected. It's pretty sweet coming from a big hospital and like you don't really know people, but then you start to make each other nickname. It's a good team camaraderie. We might not be like the best in everything, but we're definitely a strong team. Definitely got a little bit of an adrenaline rush going and might have started moving a little too quick through it at some points. When you're doing it with a group, it's a really great way to kind of do some bonding and build that team atmosphere. The best leader competition is an opportunity for soldiers to demonstrate their leadership ability, their physical fitness and understanding, and the opportunity for soldiers, NCOs, senior NCOs and officers to compete for the title of Regional Health Command Atlantic Best Leader to go on at the MedCom level as the best leader team. As the best leader competition NCOIC, I've been blessed with a great team. That's how we've been able to execute everything we have support from 3rd Infantry Division, and we have support all across the region. We pick one of our MTFs within our region to host it, but it takes the whole region to put on this event. So we have a lot of soldiers and NCOs. You tell them to search Get on your knees! They come together, and then we give them our mission and our intent and our end state. They put together this competition, and then I invite all the SAR Majors down we heard this guy's a bad guy and we're here to help him, okay? To be able to come and validate to make sure that this competition is the best that we can give for our competitors when they come through. You get an opportunity to you know, challenge yourself and see what you're made of, especially going through it with some team members of yours. We lean on each other. When it comes to training that prepared us for this competition, the continued opportunities of going out to the ranges to uh, qualify our weapons, conducting Army Warrior tasks accordingly, all these things to include um, opportunities to navigate the obstacle courses on our installations truly prepared us for what this course had for us. It doesn't matter how fit you are and how well you've trained. You come out here and you're carrying an 80 pound rucksack in 90 degree weather after several days of just brutal competition, pushing your body, everybody stepping up to the plate, encouraging each other, and just really being that squad that comes together as a team to accomplish the mission. Even though this might not be someone's strength, we've prepared, we've studied enough to where we're gonna give that soldier an opportunity to lead from the front to empower them to realize that they have what it takes to take on any roles and responsibilities.